Most of our comedy comes to us in the form of superhero movies that shouldn't be funny, but somehow try to be. But Ricky Stenicki genuinely had me cracking up in the theater. <laughs> Hi y'all. Snarky J Cosplay here. So we're gonna do something a little different with this one. Last week, I got an invite to a special premiere of the upcoming movie, Ricky Stenicki. I actually happened upon the trailer on YouTube and then the next day got an invite to this premiere. I love coincidences like that for me. So tonight, we are gonna be going to the premiere of Ricky Stenicki on South Beach in Miami. I'm gonna be taking you guys with me. Let's go. All right, folks, we got the uh, clothing choice here because I'm one of those assholes that likes to go overdressed to these things. Please ignore my Ross tag. <laughs> I'm only by expensive clothing. And these boots because I bought them for my Dazzler cosplay and I feel like they just match way too well. Got the fit. Check out those boots. How obnoxious. My hair is unfortunately not cooperating with me yet, but we'll, we'll figure that out. In case you've ever wondered what Snarky J smells like, good. And I'm running super late, so time to get the hell out of Dodge. So we drove out through traffic to scenic Miami Beach, which is always a great drive, all the way down to Lincoln Road for the premiere. As you can see, I was feeling myself a little bit, but in the world's shiniest shoes, who could blame me? After a brief walk down Lincoln Road, I finally made it into the theater and headed up to get my pass. Of course, this invite was all thanks to Allied Global Marketing, who are always super cool and always make sure I get a plus one. And much to my surprise, they actually had a red carpet, which was always super cool. I really don't consider myself that relevant, so anytime I get to stand in front of a carpet and have people actively asking for my attention to take photos of me, it 100% boosts my ego in a way that it probably shouldn't. So we've made it to the theater to watch Ricky Stenicki. Got my popcorn, got a bevy. It's good popcorn, too. Hey, watch it. Oh, look, Papa Snarky decided to show up. <laughs> John Cena actually showed up to the theater to introduce the film. This movie is about laughing. It's about having fun. And I hope everybody in the theater tonight has a great time. Uh, we made this movie to put a smile on your face, and I hope it does just that. Part one, another five. So I hope you guys had fun coming with me on that little premiere experience. I love going to premieres. So let's talk about Ricky Stenicki. I think the comedy genre in general has kind of been struggling for the past few years. We really don't tend to see a lot of these like mid-budget comedy films made anymore. Most of our comedy comes to us in the form of superhero movies that shouldn't be funny but somehow try to be. I mean think about movies like Wedding Crashers or Step Brothers. That type of comedy really doesn't get made much anymore and when it does it goes right to streaming of course Ricky Stenicki is going to be a prime exclusive but I'm really glad that they premiered it on here and genuinely I can tell you that this movie is a solid 7 out of 10. I will admit that I am not the most easily amused person. I have a really hard time with comedies and spend a lot of time rolling my eyes at shit that should be funny, but Ricky Stenicki genuinely had me cracking up in the theater. Performances from everybody were super solid and the movie was genuinely hilarious. There were some parts that were borderline cringe where you want to close your eyes and not even look, but it was so worth watching. And before I go any further, Yes, John Cena 100% steals the show. This guy delivered in a way that I could have never expected him to deliver. From parody performances of well-known songs with a really inappropriate twist, to acting his ass off at a bris celebration, I'm gonna let you guys look up what that is, he is absolutely fantastic in this film. One of my biggest complaints when it comes to comedy movies is that of course they can't just sell you mile a minute laughs the entire time. They all always have to give you that bit of sentimentality, some real feelings behind everything, and that's usually where I start cringing and lose interest. Ricky Stenicki does have that element to it, but it actually does a pretty good job of selling this. It really doesn't ever become draggy or overly emotional. I can't say that there was any one part of this movie that dragged. My biggest complaint with this movie is actually the production value, and I don't typically complain about production value when it comes to films, but there's some elements production wise that do actually take you out of the movie watching experience. The film sound wise wasn't mixed super well and there's just some shots where the lighting doesn't exactly match. You can tell that it's not a big budget silver screen release type thing. It does sort of suffer from the direct to streaming element of it, but 
I do want to stress that this does not ruin the movie. It's actually really funny, super entertaining. Like I said, great performances. I was super pleasantly surprised by this movie. And I think it's super important for us to support comedy films, especially when they're as good as Ricky Stenicki is. I think if we show movies like this more and more support via streaming, we might actually start to get real theater releases of real comedies year round. I would love to see that happen. So like I said, Ricky Stenicki gets a solid seven out of 10 from me. I I really enjoyed it. My dad and I had a great time watching it and we had a fantastic time at the premiere as well. And that's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. For more Snarky J, be sure to check me out on Instagram. And if you'd like to support me, this channel, and my content creation, do check out and consider subscribing to my Patreon. I will add links to both of those in the description below. And let me know your thoughts on Ricky Stinicky in the comments below.